Hi guys, I'm Rob Richards here at Hooks Gym in West London, 12 weeks out from the WBFF World Fitness Model Competition. Now for those of you who followed my journey back in 2009, you know the drill. I'll be posting as much of my progress through videos and blogs, my training, my nutrition, supplementation throughout the next 12 weeks. And for this, you can go to robrichards.com. Today I'm training shoulders and triceps, and with that end goal in sight, I'm feeling pumped, so let's get to it. First two warm up sets for my first exercise. My first set was no weight, high repetitions, 30 reps just to pump some blood into my shoulders and get used to that movement, kind of lubricate up my joints. Second intermediate tree warm up set, a small amount of weight just to again begin pumping blood into that muscle group and only about 15 reps, but nowhere near the point of muscle failure. That starts in my next work set. We love, we hate, we stand, afraid, we give, we take, destroy, create, we love, we hate, we stand. I'm writing everything down and just keeping a journal in this notebook. Not really so I can keep going back and trying to better what I'm doing next time, but if anything, it just keeps me focused on this workout. The fact that I'm committing it down to paper and I can transfer this over to my blog and my website later when I get back and then explain and break down why I'm doing some of the exercises and the techniques that I'm doing. Anyway, I'm aiming for a 10 rep max, trying to increase the weight on every work set by five or ten percent and always aiming for ten reps sometimes I need a, a drop set or a rest pause to get me there but then hopefully on the next workout I step it up and achieve ten reps on that weight without needing a drop set or rest pause Great machine to do after the, the, the barbell heavier compound press for uh, military press. The reason I like this is it's got that converging movement of pushing up and inward so I get a tighter, deeper contraction in, uh, in my delts. Plus, as I start to deplete my energy from getting the bigger movements out of the way earlier on, the machines and then later on the cables allow me to get that kind of resistance to that range of motion rather than having to worry about stabilizing the weight. So I don't go as heavy on the machines as I do on free weights, but I feel like I get a deeper, deeper contraction in the muscle. I'm here at Piccadilly Circus, one of the most iconic places, certainly in London and the rest of England. And uh, it's kind of ironic because I, I used to work just a few miles away from here before I moved to America about four years ago and really got my head into the whole fitness industry and into competition. So kind of ironic that I find myself back here 
at the start of my 12 week competition again for what is undoubtedly going to be one of the hardest competitions I've ever had to do. And it's not just because of the quality of the competitors that are going to be on stage. It's more of a personal goal for me that this year, unlike many other years, I've got such a, a, a hectic work schedule with a, a studio that I'm managing in LA. We're doing video work six times a week, working with many other companies now that means I can't always focus on getting to the gym and getting my meals in at times that I want to. And plus with traveling back to LA, back to London, and ultimately ending up in Canada, Toronto where the competition's gonna be, I need to make sure that I'm absolutely in my best shape on stage when it comes to show day. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, the reason I wanna document and, and share with you my journey is to show you that even though I'm traveling around and unable to get every workout and every meal plan in on time, I wanna show you that it's still possible to make incredible changes in your body in pretty much three months. So although I'm going to the extreme level, I wanna share with you as much as I can, pretty much bringing all of my knowledge to the table so that whatever your goal may be, you can take as much or as little as you want and make use of it to achieve your fitness goal. So while I'm in London, I figured I might check out some of my favorite hotspots here and start off with a coffee, because you all know I love my coffee. So. Come with me and we'll check out some of the favorite coffee places right here in the center of London. shoulder exercises just because of that consistent contraction I get in my rear delt. Sometimes I might use the, the fly machine and do that reverse so I work my rear delts from here but by having the cable pulleys a little bit higher I feel like I get a much deeper contraction in my rear delt by putting it down and being able to squeeze them at the end of the exercise. here started uh, last Saturday which was the beginning of my 12 week uh, program which is where I really become very focused on everything that I'm doing so here's a good one back and I was focused on that one inner biceps I actually left the gym halfway through I had a fitness competition that I wanted to go and see a friend competing but I came back and I finished it and uh, you can see I'm pretty detailed with writing down my my reps my weight pretty periodic on uh, increasing the weight and then keeping little notes on whether I got a good pump or whether I needed to lower the weight down. So keeping detailed notes like this allows me to look at it for my next weight workout and see where I need to start from. And uh, for me, just to see that I'm progressing. It also helps to, to be able to come back in like a year's time and uh, continue the same program. Now that I'm further into my workout, I only do two sets for my smaller muscle groups. So my delts, my 
mini delt and my uh, front delt, I'll be moving on and doing two sets of overhand straight bar races. So I'm still gonna save some energy for triceps. range on cables certainly for later on in the workout when again I'm more depleted I can't get that same intensity by going heavy I would normally do anywhere from 12 to 15 reps on a especially cable pull down for triceps so it's not all about weight here I can lift heavier but I get a deeper better feeling in my triceps by going all out to about 15 reps than always trying to lift as heavy as I can okay one more set with ropes and then I will finish off tricep pushdowns with a straight bar just to shift the emphasis of the arm that I'm training. Don't, you're spy, bad, 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 b